Previously on Going Home with Eric and Nicole. Hi, hi. I got a classroom going on today. Yes, the classroom. Yeah, I told you have the soul food joint. Yes. So what you guys expect? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so Ian just wrote these peppers down. Put, put Ian, look, look, hey, stay oh, focused, he, son. He, he's about to shovel some uh, a hole for the pineapple. Okay. Hopefully. He found something else to train with. He well, loves training, but I, he wanted to shovel, so I wouldn't got it. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. that was nice. Hold on. Okay, you about to show me? show me? Kennedy's showing me what? Okay. The corn? Okay, let's oh, see. Oh, okay. You smack yourself. What are you showing me? Okay, girl. Oh, that's the I new just style. To pose. Huh? I just wanted to pose. You just wanted to pose. <laughs> so, what did you do down here, Ian and Kennedy? Poker, what did they do? This was the work area here. Okay, here we go. I'm telling you guys. Okay. Come on. I know exactly what we did. All right. So, awesome. I got it mixed up with dirt, but really it's just soil and fertilizer. Okay. Okay, come on. See, come tell on. them why it's not tell them why it's not dirt. Tell dirt them why doesn't that's a have bad soil. Okay. And tell them why uh, dirt is nutrients. a bad word. Why is dirt a bad word? Because it don't got nutrients. Oh, oh, okay. okay. She's okay. a student. She's learning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. So she's doing some teaching back here in the garden. I love it because my kids I'm are gonna know student. how to garden. Oh, you the A student? Yeah. Okay, ask him a question, Polka. Ask, ask Ian. A, a, a question? Ask Ian. Oh, Ian, Ian. How? Okay. Oh, I don't know if he was here. Questions. Do you know? Okay. What? What does collard greens? Oh, you may know it. What does collard greens, mustard greens, and kale and um, radish have in common? Family. I. Woo! Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what? 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 Uh, okay. Do you know okay. the name? Do you remember the name? It starts with a C. Uh, you? Yeah. What is it? Color mustard. Mm -hmm. No. It's the family's cruciferous. They're cruciferous what? vegetables. Oh, cruciferous. That because you. I said you that. I only said it one time. Oh, okay, That's okay. It. So just, now you know. You so it's it. what? Yeah, it's it. what? Cruciferous. 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 And you can tell family. by what? Because they have all, how many flowers? Uh, five. Six, four. Like four. Four. Exactly. I said it. No, you were guessing. 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 No, I didn't. She was sitting next to me, though. Did you remember me really saying that? No. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I, guess. I, just, I just said it because you had like this. Oh, my, oh, my bad. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. So, so, so let's come over here. Some gorilla gardens. So wait, Ian, so garden. you wrote the, he wrote the side for peppers. Okay. Because we're going to try to make some more peppers in this one here. Okay. So we have, um, we did peppers today. Peppers, okay. We're going to put them here. These are some other peppers too. There's like three peppers there. So you guys want to tell Bell them, peppers. did you plant it today? Kale. I <gasps> what else? We did what? I planted. Kale. What else? I planted kale. Pepper. I planted pepper. Mm -hmm. I you know planted, I said that first. You guys both, we all plant. Okay. Uh -huh. I planted mustard. Uh, <laughs> I uh, planted mustard uh, greens? Uh, green? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Colors. I planted. Uh, what does it say? Uh, <laughs> collars. Collard greens. Yeah. Georgia. Georgia. So, so um, we're testing these, right? Right now. Or what? The collard, the collard and the mustard greens. We're testing them. Yeah, this is yeah. You know what? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And there is going to be the shade. Uh, we oh. sold, we sold some of the seeds. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. the test. Oh, hey. Stop. Thanks for yeah. thanks for sharing, aka Fatima, who donated these seeds. Oh, um, thank you, Fatima. Yeah, that's for sure. For your donation, she she donated the seeds. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Where she left? Oh yes, yeah. Fatima. So I I, 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 oh wait, I, yeah. Fatima.
All right, let's start. Let's start with your names. Uh, anybody can start, and we'll just go around. Jessica. My name is Kennard. Kennard. Charlene. Charlene. Yolanda. Yolanda. So Yolanda, Charlene, Kennard, and Jessica. All right. So first of all, where are you all from? Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. All right. I'm gonna ask you some questions that I asked. You know, and I'll, I'll edit this. Okay. So um, so tell me about what made you guys want to come. By the way, guys, uh, my wife. It's in the kitchen, whipping up some 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 amazing dessert. So I'm doing this interview solo, uh, which is why you can't see me, and I'm, I'm actually holding the camera. Okay. So tell me why 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 did y'all decide Africa? Well, my mother and auntie they actually want to move here. Uh, okay. Me personally, I always wanted to, of course, touch the African soil. Okay. Didn't know Gambia was gonna be my first destination. But, um, you know, things transpired for for them to come to this point of wanting to move to Africa. Okay. Um, so, uh, so, so, so how did that happen, Mama? Well, during the pandemic, <laughs> um, well, you know, we had a lot of, I did a lot of soul searching during that time, and I was at home a lot by myself, and mm -hmm. uh, it was really kind of weird to me it's unbelievable to me mm -hmm. but uh it's like god just put it on my heart to come to africa mm. literally okay why i don't know and i was like well i, I must i don't know where that voice came from or in my mm -hmm. heart because i don't even like to travel mm. i'm like i don't in the united states i just finally went to california for the first time that's the only that's the first time i was on the airplane i'm 63 now wow i was 62 when I went to California, that's the first time I've been on an airplane. Wow. So I could care less if I see the rest of the United States. Yes. I don't care nothing about that. Yeah. We done drove some places. Me and my daughter-in-law, she have taken me to Texas and, what well, in Texas? Yeah, mm -hmm. to see the T.D. Jakes things and things like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we were, we were living in Dallas. That's what we were. Yeah, we went to yeah. Dallas, Texas. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so traveling ain't my thing. I don't. I still don't even know Nashville, and I've been okay. down all my life. I, wow. I cannot give you directions in Nashville. Wow. So I could care less about traveling. So when Africa was put on my heart, I did not understand why. And then the next thing, it was Gambia. Mm -hmm. So I started, I said, Gambia? I ain't never heard of Gambia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I started looking up Gambia, and I, the first thing I run into is a bunch of cows and stuff walking <laughs> down the street. So I said, oh, no, I know that. I heard that wrong. I'm not even going to know Gambia with all these cows and stuff walking around. Mm -hmm. Well, then I just kept, so that started me to just looking at YouTube and stuff just kept popping up on my feed. Mm -hmm. So then I seen Ghana. Some came in from Ghana. I said, well, I could probably do Ghana. Mm -hmm. I said, Ghana look like it's a little more advanced than right. Gambia. No I, said, okay. I said, well, Lord, if you want me to go to Africa, I'll, I'll do Ghana. Mm -hmm. And it was like God, it's, it's literally like God said, I didn't say Ghana, I said Gambia. Wow, wow. So uh, I was like, oh, so I started looking into Gambia. Mm -hmm. And then it was like one of them things, uh, every day I just started just researching. And then I told my son that I was going to, I told my son that, uh, that I think I want to move to Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, he was he was in awe. He was shocked because yeah. uh, everybody I told, but most everybody I told believes me because they know I don't like to travel. Right. So for me to say it, it was not like I don't believe you. You ain't going. It was never none of that. Right. Uh, and I told him I don't know why I'm going to get. Mm. I said God must have something for me there because I have no idea why, and I still don't know right now. Wow. I just know that I didn't want to be disobedient. Wow. And if he said go, I'm supposed to go. So, so, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go so ahead. then I told my sister about it, mm -hmm. and uh, so she got a little excited about it. But she's a little different. She said, "Yeah, I'm gonna have to like pray on that. I gotta mm -hmm. get in God's face about that." Mm -hmm. So she <laughs> she she went through her transition of what she needed to do, and then I was shocked when she came back and said that she was gonna go. Wow! Uh, and I'll let you tell. I'll let her tell the story of how that transpired or whatever she had to go to. But that's where it started from. So and my thing was. With my ch I have three sons. Mm -hmm. uh, when my children were saying, um, oh, well, Mom, you probably need to visit first. You just don't need to up and go. And my right. thing, the reason I said that I was going to go 
uh, without visiting because I knew I had to come anyway. Mm. So whether I visit or not, if I visit and I don't like it now, right. I still feel like I have to come. Wow, wow. So it was never like I was not going to come whether I like it or not. That That's amazing to me, um, especially uh, when you look at, you know, the wisdom and the age and the time that you've been here on the earth to decide that on top of never having gone anywhere outside of where you live. I just need y'all to really hear that and let that resonate. You know, um, don't allow you haven't visited Gambia uh, to be an excuse not to come. Don't allow that to be an excuse uh, because you've never been outside of your city limits. You see somebody right here that's being interviewed that had guts enough to answer what they felt was going on in their spirit and to come here and at least uh, investigate and see what that's about. Now, before I get to the sister, I want to ask the son, how did you feel about this decision, man? Uh, well, initially I was shocked when she asked my passport mm -hmm. because, like I said, she, you can't get my mama to go anywhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. for her to ask, ask for the passport, uh, that was shocking, but I was, I was excited about it. Just like her, before we went, you know, just the job, being stressed out, and with the pandemic, it just, you know, too much going on. And I just pray, like, you know, Lord, what, you know, what is this? Like, what, tell me what I'm supposed to be doing, and I will go. And when we were visiting in L.A., I just, mm -hmm. uh, again, I'm not sure what what the call is or how long I'll be there, um, but that's where I, that's where I'll be headed to. Um, wow. But I, being here is, is definitely eye-opening, it's beautiful, the most beautiful beach I've ever seen, wow. so much peace. So I'm quite sure, um, I already let them know I'll be visiting all the time, so who knows? <laughs> I can definitely see and envision life in the Gambia for sure. Amazing. And you heard it from this beautiful family from Nashville, Tennessee. So you need to be making up your mind right now and doing what you got to do to get here, point blank. It is like paradise, and it's a place that I believe that will open your eyes to a lot of things, okay? So take care, and we'll talk to you soon.